Hey everybody, Iron here. Today we're going to be playing Constructed Simulator. You can see my totally lifelike character here with the flames on his helmet, the good looks, just like me. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and name our company Iron Construction and we'll get doing some jobs here in a second. So we got all the precursor stuff done. So we're actually looking at jobs now and what can we do? Uh, so they offer all kinds of different little side jobs and main quests. That's where we're going to start off with side jobs. So looking through here, we got quite a few to work with. Um, the road, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to do the swimming pool, I think. It seems like a fun little job. Some digging, concrete pouring. Uh, could be fun to work, uh, but we'll find out here when we take the job. Looks like I could change the job scope to high and low. I think I'll just kind of keep it at medium. Doesn't seem like I need a lot here. I need to be able to dig, pour concrete. So I guess we'll just take this one and run with it for now. All right. Now that we got that, we'll go ahead and get started. First thing we'll want to do is uh, get the building supplies. So let me just find the store here. Oh, there we go. And uh, these supplies will help us with the job that we're working on. So let's go ahead and grab everything that we need. And we'll just have it delivered to the construction site. All right, heading to the site itself. We got our backhoe here. It's a CAT uh, 430F2. Uh, standard starting backhoe here. Uh, we're going to try to use this to dig out this pool, but it's kind of a big site oh we'll see what we can do uh hopefully we can get to get out with the front loader here um but i'm kind of already having trouble with getting into it and getting the bucket to scoop stuff up you see here my scoop really doesn't have much in it to begin with um only about a quarter of what it can even handle so let's go ahead and try dumping that here and then I'm kind of thinking here do we want to change Maybe we, yeah, let's get the backhoe in there and see maybe if it's a little bit easier. Well, maybe we hopefully can get a little bit more out of here. It is a very large hole to take. All right, uh, let's see here. We need to change it, get it stabilized. Perfect. All right, and let's try. A little hard to see here. Oh, there we go. Had to adjust my settings a little bit so we jump forward ahead just a tad. All right, here we go. Now we can dig a little bit easier. All right, we'll dig it off, send it to the side here. Um, if you notice up in the top left, it's how much percentage I dug out, and I'm starting to notice already that it's not really doing much as I dig out this area. Only 1% out of two scoops. Let's see how much this does. Another full bucket, and... Yeah, it's not looking good. So we're going to change up the strategy, actually. We got this big boy here. This is the Atlas 340LC, and this is meant for this job. Uh, checking through the jobs once again, I actually saw that this was the recommended excavator for this project rather than using a backhoe. Uh, so we'll get this big boy settled up in here and get some real digging in. Now, my first mistake here is I actually never went far enough in. I should have went in a little bit deeper, but that's okay. So now we're going to start digging here and seeing what we can get out. I don't know if it's just me, guys, but I love working with big toys like this. I don't know, it's just something primal in me, I guess. So this is definitely working a lot better in my favor now, so what I gotta do is just work through this entire digging it out. And you see there, a nice one scoop really takes a large percentage out of the job that we need to get done here. So we'll reach in, get another big scoop out. All right. And so as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that my dirt on the left-hand side is piling up pretty big. So let's see if maybe we can get away with some, <laughs> with some um, cheating here and just dump it into the neighbor's yard for now. Hopefully they won't notice that we're, uh, you know, putting a couple tons of dirt in their yard. Eh, especially with a car like that, they won't notice. So actually, we'll just keep doing that. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for me, at least. And I'm not going to sit here and worry about, you know, being 100% faithful to the simulation. I will cheat if I have to a little bit. All right, so we finished digging the hole out. Um, now we got to get everything on site here. So we got a little, our little flatbed uh, with the crane on the back end. And we'll use that to get everything set up here. All right. 
Then it's just a little crane, but it gets the job done. That's the nice thing about this. Now I should mention I'm actually using a pair of Thrustmaster 16,000M uh, or 16,000M. But I use du dual joysticks basically for doing all this work. Alright, so here we got the framework that we need to get settled in. And uh, the crane's a little warming up a little bit. It takes a second to get everything fully ascended to move it around. There actually is a skill perk system in the game to kind of speed this up. Uh, you can use perks to uh, speed up uh, cranes, uh, to make your buckets scoop more. So, yeah, hopefully over time as we keep playing this game, hopefully things get a little bit quicker and easy to deal with. All right, pallet of wood needs to go in over here. And we're basically going to be using all of this stuff to create the... Um, frame for the pool to get the concrete in. On uh, major sites like this, uh, what they like to do is rebar for the bottom floor and then build frames for concrete walls. Fill in the walls, let it dry, peel off the frames. Now I'm totally talking through my butt, but that's what I understand at least how everything's done. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Alright, so looks like it want us to pour the slab here. So we'll go ahead and get this moved out of here. And now we got our concrete pourer here. So I had a little bit of trouble figuring out this thing as a whole, where to fill it up and stuff like that, even though the tutorial taught me. Um, it's still a little bit of a learning process for me. So the one thing I had to figure out here is getting my chute extended um, in order to first start the pours. Now this is fun. Uh, extended boom arm for pouring concrete makes the job nice and easy you don't have to be up close doing a bunch of crazy stuff you got this nice long arm that'll pour the concrete for you all right so trying to figure it out right now i'm not positive on how to get the concrete pouring here but if you're going to notice here we figured it out <laughs> just a little bit of work in the command in the menus and we got it working so now we need to get the um, flooring port for the pool. And it's pretty simple. We're just going to move the arm around a little bit. Get it filled in as much as we can and then move on to the next uh, part. Now I'm loving this arm, extended arm, uh, for this pouring. Like I said, it's nice not having to be super close with, and try to get a chute down in there. Also, what's nice about the truck that we're using is that all the concrete is uh, mixed while we're doing it on top on the truck. So it mixes itself, it pours itself, and then it comes through this extended arm. All right, so now we need to reach the back end over there. So we reverse the truck a little bit, and we get the arm back out and finish the pour. Pretty easy, nothing uh, major, and there we go. All right, so next up, we need to uh, fill in the framework for the pool walls itself. Uh, definitely a lot easier at this point. All I gotta do is work from corner to corner to get these filled in. All right, so concrete's pouring in here. Pretty fast and simple. And then what we'll do is actually retract the arm and fill in the walls from there. Now I'm trying to save as much concrete as I can. I don't want to pour it onto the already dried floor. That concrete costs a lot in this game. All right. So it looks like the walls are now done. So we're actually done with that. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, all folded up and we'll get it off the site. And then we'll see what's next. All right, that is off the site, so we'll jump over here and talk to the foreman. And looks like we're done. And I'm very impressed that within seconds of me being done, they got grass back. I got the shrubbery up, so good for them. All right, so the next job I found was actually a pipe work job. Kind of wanted to do something simple after that. Uh, and it was actually very close by. So we jump in the uh, backhoe here and we bring it over. Now we're just uh, digging a small trench 
Uh, so need, no need for the excavator in this job. We're just going to kind of uh, dig the small boy out. Now I mentioned that uh, I am using dual joysticks for this. So even for jobs like this, I'm using dual joysticks to dig and get the trench opened up. I love how simplistic uh, the controls are for this game. They really kind of nailed the feel uh, for the for things like the backhoe, the excavator, the cranes. Everything feels solid and it's really fun to use. Right, so we wrapped up uh, digging the trench there and now we're being asked to put in trench walls. Oh, sorry, not trench walls, shoring panels. My, uh, That's my fault. Uh, please don't destroy me. I'm not a construction expert. Alright, uh, so we got these shoring panels, and we're just going to get the crane and drop them in there. You might see me, yeah, uh, you just saw I did a small little twist there to line it up. It's not mandatory, but I get kind of nitpicky like that. It's why I'm attracted to the simulation game. Sometimes I'm very nitpicky about details, and I want games that force me to do something like that, like twist it so it fits in a certain way. All right, so we got the shoring panels in. Uh, now we need to lay the cable. Oh, yeah. So pretty easy. Just jump in the trench here and lay it out. Even though I'm not inside of the walls that we put down, that's okay. And now that the wires are put down, we need to just unpack these random construction materials. <laughs> they don't really explain what that is, but we'll do it. All right, so now that that's all done, we're going to take the backhoe over here. And we're going to try to use the front bucket on it and try to load some dirt in. And I'm very new to this game and everything that it expects me to do. So I quickly figure out that I'm not very good at filling in trenches or holes or anything. They're learning a lot at this moment. But yeah, so just front loading the dirt in there. Trying to get it all filled in as quickly as can. And we wrap that up. So once again, we're going to go talk to the foreman and let him know that we're uh, done with this job. And we'll creepily stand outside the house and stare at him. So I guess now that they got uh, electricity to their house, so they're a happy family. So that'll wrap it up for this episode. So if you enjoy this content, please consider commenting, liking, subscribing. Anything you do there really helps me out. Uh, but I really appreciate you watching till the end here. Uh, please have a great day and I'll catch you again. Bye.